got a lot of old power tools that you can't really use anymore because of bad battery packs. Watch this video. I think I got something you're going to want to see. So check this out. I had no idea these things existed. This is an HPA 1820 adapter for a battery pack. And what this will allow you to do is use modern lithium batteries on old NICAD powered tools. I didn't know that these things even existed, but I'm glad I do now. I saw these when I was looking through Amazon at options for repowering some of my old tools. If you own this particular drill, you know that this is a wrist twister. This is a very strong drill. It's been a really good drill. I used to use it on the job all the time. Never had any kind of problems with it whatsoever, other than the NICAD battery packs. And I really hated it when all my packs were really getting in bad shape. And at one point, I switched over to some NIMH batteries, some nickel metal high drive batteries, and those worked better, but they still have memory problems with them. And this pack doesn't really charge all the way anymore. That's not the way that drill normally sounds when it's under full power. Even though this battery pack shows fully charged, it's not putting out like it used to. So I found this adapter on Amazon that allow you to use modern 20 volt lithium packs on your older tools. I'll put a link in the description to this adapter. But it comes in a blister pack and I've already tried this out and it works really well. Also picked up these generic supposedly four amp hour batteries. I'll put a link in the description to these batteries also. The only reason I decided on this particular one is because I read through the comments and somebody said that they had tested the capacity at 3.7 amp hours. That's pretty close to four amp hours, so it's probably a pretty good battery pack. So the way this works is the top of it's made kind of like your battery packs from the Black & Decker, the 18 volt single source battery packs. And then on the bottom, it's got this slide-in adapter for the 20 volt max lithium ion batteries. So these will just slide in like this. I found that it helps to push it in if you push down on the lever that locks it in place to slide it in. It makes it a little easier to get the battery pack into the adapter. You can see the battery pack is going to set just a little taller than the factory battery pack. This is a 3 amp hour nickel metal high drive battery that I had. So this one's a little taller with the adapter and the four amp hour lithium battery, but it's not as heavy. Then you just slide the adapter into your tool. That's more like it. Like I said, these were good drills and I hated to quit using it because I actually liked the drill. This was the hammer drill that they put out, half inch hammer drill. It's very stout and I really missed having it. And I have a feeling there's a lot of the same technology swapped back and forth between Black & Decker and DeWalt at this time because this is a really quality tool. These drills, not so much. Uh, these weren't near as powerful, not near as good. But I have tons of these Black & Decker tools I can't use anymore. So switching over to the lithium batteries really seemed like a good idea to me. The only problem I ran into was on this blower. I cannot get the battery pack to slide in here. I even tried to cut out a section of it to allow it to go in further and it just won't fit. So I'm thinking if I got some of the one and a half amp hour batteries I could still use this. And this isn't really good for blowing leaves or anything like that but it is good for blowing dust and debris off of concrete driveways or patios, things like that. And even in the shop you can make a little use of it for blowing dust around maybe blow sawdust outside or something like that. So what I'm using to charge these generic battery packs is a Black & Decker 20 volt lithium charger and this is a slower charger. I think that's a good idea on these high capacity aftermarket batteries to use a slower charger instead of a rapid charge. You could probably get more longevity on the battery life for them. And this charges these generic aftermarket batteries no problem. If you're like me, I go to a lot of yard sales, thrift stores, flea markets, places like that. Whenever I run across tool battery chargers, I usually pick them up. If nothing else, you can test them and sell them on eBay, but I usually hang on to them in case I run across some power tools that need one. The aftermarket battery pack came in a cardboard box with an instruction sheet and packed in a bubble wrap bag. I'm sure they're not quite full 4 amp hour capacity, but they do seem to have good capacity on them. 
you can run the tools for a lot longer than you ever could with the NICADs. Even the three amp hour nickel metal high drive battery I had doesn't hold a charge as long as these do. So this is a definite upgrade. I think there's some consistency problems on the quality from these aftermarket batteries. So if you order one, I'd go ahead and test it out. Make sure you get good runtime out of it and that it will recharge before you decide to keep it. You might need to send it back if you have problems with one. But again, I'll put a link to the battery packs and the adapter down in the description below. What do you guys think? Does this look like a good idea to you? Do you have some old power tools that you wish you could repower? Guess what? I noticed a bunch of adapters on there I wasn't even aware existed. I've seen adapters from brands like Makita, Porter Cable, DeWalt, Black & Decker, several other ones too. So check around, you might find a battery pack adapter that'll work for you if you've got some old power tools that need to be upgraded to some more modern batteries so you can continue using them. Because most of the time the tools are okay, it's the battery packs that's the problem. So why replace the tools if you have options for battery adapters? That's all I got for now guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found this video useful at all, please subscribe share and comment below i really appreciate it it helps my channel out and it doesn't cost you a thing i'll talk to y'all later